Right now, mostly clear skies with a live look from our camera at 72nd and Crown Point. Good visibility out there here too. Still need to grab the coat though. 25 feeling like 17 here in Omaha. 27 feeling like 22 Lincoln and 21 light winds. Not hurting us too much out in Harlan. A visibility still looks good. I did mention the chance for some fog further off to the north. We are seeing that a Maryville, Missouri within the last half hour falling to seven miles out of a perfect 10. That's really not too bad, but I'll keep a close eye on the fog here this morning. Otherwise, satellite and radar looking pretty decent as we head much further to the south. A couple clouds passing through, but you're on the wide view watching for our next weather maker. A very strong area of low pressure set to move in here tonight and uh, last through tomorrow morning, though. As that rain moves out, we're still stuck with the winds for your Wednesday. Today, mostly sunny as you step out the door at 8 o'clock, 27, still feeling like 21. But check this out, warming up pretty quickly. Sunny by noon, and this will be uh, some of the last sunshine we have here today. 49, feeling like 44. No wind chill later on with temperatures back into the mid-50s, but increasing clouds for your afternoon. Becoming mostly cloudy this afternoon with a high of 55 for Omaha, Lincoln, 56, Falls City, even 50 up in Carroll, our average around 43. That's coming with that, as mentioned, pretty powerful area of low pressure, so that will bring the chance for showers, storms, and even some heavy rain. Let's walk it through here today. Sunshine for most of us north of I-80 by the lunch hour. Increasing clouds for your afternoon, becoming overcast. 6 o'clock, this forecast model still keeping us dry. We'll see an isolated chance for a few showers and pop-up storms. These start to become more widespread after 8 o'clock. This forecast model slowing it down just a little bit. But watch what happens as we head into 10 o'clock. Seeing that widespread threat of heavy rain, even a few thunderstorms. And since we last spoke yesterday, this has shifted a little bit more westerly. So even Omaha and uh, the I-29 corridor could see some of this rain. Seeing heavy rain overnight tonight and on into tomorrow tomorrow morning, moving on out just in time for the morning drive. But here's where we're concerned. When we last spoke yesterday, I said I would not be surprised if this moved a little bit further to the east and the north. So it has us seeing the risk for large hail, damaging winds as we head overnight tonight. Localized flooding that's a little bit more widespread now still includes Omaha, Council Bluffs and Lincoln. One to about two inches of rain possible, so we could see isolated flooding. Again, this is still on the low end. Forecast wind gusts as we head throughout the day today, 30 to 40 miles an hour. But check this out as we head into tomorrow morning, seeing more widespread 40 to 50, even isolated 50 to 60. So I'm keeping an eye out for a possible wind advisory. I have put an impact weather icon on for today. That's mainly for this evening and tonight and sticking when still on your Monday for those windy conditions. Again, gusts up to nearly 50 miles an hour possible. Temperatures, however, today 55. That's really not feeling too bad. 41 overnight tonight with those storms, heavy rain possible. And even if we get rumbles of thunder, that severe risk looks to stay further to the south. Impact weather icon for your Monday for the winds, though, will be drying out by time for the morning drive tomorrow. High of 51, keeping it fairly mild this week, with the exception of Thursday, a bit cooler with a 20% chance for flurries.